Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video on Oblivion Builds. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to play as a Dremora build. So you know those humanoid things that you find on the plains of Oblivion that are dressed in heavy armor? Yeah, we're going to talk about how to use one of those in a build. So to start off, you're going to pick an orc. Well, because they're strong and they also kind of look like Dremora, I guess they're the quote, human world version of a Dremora. And your two attributes are going to be strength and intelligence, and you're going to use the apprentice sign. For your seven sil skill, oh, blah, 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 blah. okay. Anyways, for your seven skills, you're going to use blade, block, 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 block. Okay, this is the third take. Let's see if I can get this. You're going to use blade, block, destruction, heavy armor, marksman, blunt, and athletics. So it's very similar skill set. Uh, well kind of similar there's like four skills similar to the goblin build if you watch that but for this one you're gonna play basically like a battle mage that can use any weapon so you know you, you have the destruction and the heavy armor those are pretty simple skills to use right just put on heavy armor and shoot fireballs at, at people but then you use blade blunt and marksman all together to use different kinds of weapons so I think if you could use Diedrich weapons you can pair the mace of Molag ball with something like Goldbrand or Umbra, and there's Block in there. And then for Marksman, I don't really know of any good enchanted bows that you can't like make. So you could make a really strong bow or like a silence bow, and then use bows to your advantage. Um, Athletics is there because I noticed that the Jamora characters tend to not run out of fatigue at all. They don't, I know they have really high fatigue stat. So I just wanted to throw that in there. So how you'd play this character, well, you have the Apprentice and you have Intelligence buff, so you'd be using a lot of Destruction Magic. Um, then you'd also have the strength to use a Blade or a Blunt weapon, and then you'd be upgrading your Endurance a lot because of Block and Heavy Armor. The Marksmanship stat is kind of there. What I would use if, if you really wanted to get down to the nitty gritty, right? Even though the Jamora don't have really enchanted bows, <clears throat> use the bow to have like maybe an enchantment you don't have on your melee weapons or a silent or a paralyze something like that or a fear anything really like i would treat it more as like a second set of spells like maybe a couple bows that do a couple things that you don't want to spend magic on with your destruction skill anything like that i think would be more beneficial than just using a bow that does damage, because you already have destruction. Destruction's mostly damage based anyways. Why not just use that as your range damage and then the bow kind of as support? Um, but yeah, I actually, this build is interesting because I never really use the apprentice sign, but I feel like that weakness to magic is almost deserved because, well, mainly because you get more magic, which means more spells, but like, I feel like the Dremora are also weaker to magic. It just, it's I, its a feeling I have. I don't look at the stats of these guys, you know, but I just feel like they're weaker to it. I mean, I could be, I'm probably wrong. I bet they have like a 50% resistance to fire or something like that. And I just haven't been using a character that uses fire. So we'll see about that. But that's really it for this build, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on Oblivion. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam it post of whatever I decide to make.